So now you should have or you should get uh, to this result. Actually, if we run the simulation right now, you can see we have a proper robot running and it's not falling apart. Okay, so that's the correct way to have a robot, as I said. So uh, now the only thing that we are missing is uh, we would like to add two of the sensors that this robot has. It's in particular is a uh, a proximity sensor corresponding to an ultrasound sensor, so we have to add a proximity sensor here, a cone type, because of uh, it's an ultrasonic sensor. That's it, that's the sensor. So we can uh, rotate it in this case uh, along the x axis, you see here the x axis, so we have to rotate it 90 degrees. around x-axis, there it is, so it's pointing forwards and then we have to place it uh, close to the, in this case, close to the sonar object there, so we select both of them and then apply the selection, there it is, and then we have to include it as a child for instance of the sonar. So whenever the sonar goes, it will also go the actual sensor, okay? And then if you right click on the properties, you can adjust uh, the volume parameters. For instance, you can adjust uh, this radius here will affect to this blue area here, so you can make it, uh, if you want, slightly smaller, let's say. Sorry, uh, no. Uh, this uh, affecting, this is the range of the sensor, so that could be 0 0.8 meters for instance, that's the range, and also we can uh, modify, in this case, the angle, okay? So, uh, this is how to, to set uh, the ultrasonic sensor, and also we need to include an infrared sensor to detect light here pointing to the ground, okay? And this will be actually done with a camera, a vision sensor, which is uh, indeed, uh, in our case, is an orthographic type sensor. It, it will be just one uh, pixel pointing downwards, okay? So this is uh, the default sensor that we have created, so we have to rotate it and make, it, make sure that we point downwards, so we can double click here once and two, and now we're pointing downwards, okay? Now the sensor is pointing downwards, and we can make it smaller, like this size here, we can put another zero, x, y, uh, maybe one here, that's the object size, it's rather much more smaller, we will see that soon, and we can uh, make sure that we put it or place it right just where the, the sensor is, so we can put it there, and now we are going to zoom to see if it's correct. Sorry. Yeah, that's because, uh, that's because um, the detection parameters of the sensor, here it is. So we have to select one pixel resolution, one pixel resolution, and that's because uh, the neon and far clip keeping plane are too, too, uh, too big, okay? So let's make this much smaller and make this. Sensor is basically detecting three, four millimeters, okay? Not more than that, so it's four millimeters far away, yeah. So if now we zoom, there it is, okay still is not on the correct place because we set it on the uh, center of the sensor, so we can just simply shift it manually uh, by applying, uh, in this case, uh, for instance, positive translations with respect to its own y-axis of one millimeter. Okay, and now we shift it there, and to make sure that we are properly detecting things, maybe what we have to do is increase also the set coordinate with respect to its own 
reference frame. So that's the correct place to, for the sensor, for instance. Okay? And uh, then we have to make it child of the actual shape. Okay? Yeah, that's a possible shape for the sensor. Okay, so thank you very much, and next step I will explain you how to create a user interface. Thank you very much.